Hey, welcome to this tutorial brought to you by gfxcube.net. This will be one of a couple tutorials in this series showing you how to design a template in Photoshop and then take it to be coded in Dreamweaver. I'm going to start off by going to File, New. You can see I have my width set at 760 pixels and my height set at 770 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now with this I'm going to want a white background so I'm going to get my paint bucket I'm just going to fill it in with white. I'm going to create a new layer. Now on this new layer I'm going to want to create a banner and to do that I'm going to grab my marquee tool and at the top of this document I'm just going to create a rectangle. A little bigger. Alright with this I'm not going to fill it in with color. I'm going to get my gradient tool. I'm going to make sure I have my linear gradient selected up here. I'm going to use black and white. And I'm just going to have a line come straight up. I'm going to try and get just a little bit of white at the top. There's good. Um, now with this I'm going to want a border just so I have something separating my banner from my content. I'm going to create a new layer for that. Get my marquee tool again and I'm just going to draw a little rectangle, two pixels. Alright, to have my border be here I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to stroke. I'm going to have it at two pixels and I'm just going to select a light gray color. Alright, you can't really see this here, so I'm going to add a little bit more detail to it. I'm going to right click on the layer I just created. I'm going to go to blending options. I'm going to do bevel and embose. I'm going to leave the settings how they are. You can see it now has a more detailed line. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Alright, now that I have my banner, I'm going to want to add like a logo. I've already chosen to use this 3D tree right here. You can find it on Google, just Google Images 3D tree. And I'm just going to add this in to Photoshop. Alright, I'm going to place this tree. I want it overlapping my banner a little bit so it's not just sitting there. Alright, you can see the white still on my banner. You don't want that, so I'm going to duplicate this. Hide the bottom layer. I'm going to get my magic eraser and I'm just going to delete right there. Alright, it looks nice at the top, but it messed up the sand. So I'm going to un unhide this layer. And I'm just going to select this with my marquee tool and press the delete button. Just deletes the top of that layer. Now I can go ahead and merge these. Alright, so I have my logo. Or more of my image. And next I'm going to want to create my content. So I'm going to create a new layer for this. With my uh, brown rectangular tool here. I'm just going to create a little rectangle. Alright, you're going to right click here and you're just going to go to fill path. It doesn't matter what color you use, just use color. Click OK. Alright, I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm just going to right click and just delete path. Get rid of the box around the outside of the rectangle. Alright, I'm going to get my gradient tool again. And I'm going to use a light gray and a white. I'm just going to hold control on this layer so I can select it and click on the image. And you see it puts a box around my image. And I'm just going to use my gradient tool to get something I like. Let's see if this works. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to right click on this layer, go to blending options, and just stroke. I'm going to have it one pixel on the outside. 
I'm gonna have the color a light gray so it kind of blends with everything. Alright, that looks good right there. Alright, this is gonna be where I'm gonna put my title. So I'm gonna put that right now. I'm gonna have gfxcube.net. I'm gonna change this to Bebes. I think that's how you say it. You can get this font at thefont.com. I'm gonna put this to like 48. Alright, this doesn't have, you can't bold it or italicize it, but I'm going to right click this and just go to bold. It's kind of like a cheap Photoshop bold. Alright, then I'm going to add some blending options to this. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to gradient overlay. I'm just going to double click the gradient. Alright, I'm going to you can see now it has the black and white, black and white. I'm going to want to double click this one right here. I'm going to want to change this to a dark green. Do the same to this side. Have it a light green. Just click OK. Alright, now that I have my color overlay on my text, I'm going to add stroke to that also. Two pixels on the inside. outside. Um, I'm going to change this color to a gray also. Or a really dark gray. Alright, that looks good right there. Click OK. Alright, I'm going to add some secondary text underneath this. Be opening your mind change this to boulder which is another font you can get at defont.com I don't want this to be black let me just by zooming in you could get closer to your image which allows you to move pixels it's a lot easier than doing it from far away I'm going to change the color of this text to gray looks good everything kind of matches now um I've decided on this site I'm gonna add RSS feed so I already have an RSS image that I've chosen right here. I'm just going to add this to Photoshop. I'm going to resize this by pressing Control T. I'm going to hold Shift down and I'm going to grab from a corner and drag. This will keep it evenly sized as I resize it. I'm going to put it something small. Looks good. Alright. Now that I have this, you can see there's a white box around that. I don't like that, so I'm going to use my magic eraser and just delete that. And you can see it kind of makes this scratchy down here, so I'm going to get a soft brush. Using a 35 soft brush on this. And I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to click it gently. This is just going to make it look a little bit softer because I don't want to lose that reflect image feel. This is a nice touch. I'm going to add some text to this now. Subscribe. Make this aerial. And just size this down a bit. This is 21 Arial. Alright. So here's my 